Today we're going to look at a new feature that just got added to Piccolo called Nested Select and it also has great Pydantic support so we're going to cover that as well. So to get started we've just got a example Piccolo project open here that I created using Piccolo as GNU and we have a single Piccolo app inside called Music and we'll just have a quick look at the tables. So you'll see here that these tables are the classic Piccolo example tables of manager and band. So I'm just going to jump to the shell quickly and show how we can do select queries on these tables. So I'm just going to use Piccolo shell run. And this automatically imports our tables. So if I want to select all bands, I just do it like this. But if I just want a single column, I can say do band.name. And then if I want columns from a related table, I do so manager is the name of the foreign key and the name is a column on the related table. And then if I also wanted say the manager ID, I can do it like this. And you'll see that the name of convention is its foreign key name and name in the column on the related table. So typing all of these out can get a little bit tedious. So there's a feature in Piccolo called All Columns. So rather than typing them out, it's just automatically fetched them all, which is really useful if you've got tables with a bunch of columns. So the same can also be true on the root table. So imagine band had lots and lots of columns. So rather than typing all of these out, we can do the same. there we go. So at the moment the structure is all flat which can be useful but it's also really nice to have it nested because then it works really nicely with serializers. So this is the new nested select feature that just got added to Piccolo. So we added the, the output clause and then just nested equals true. And you can see now that manager lives inside its own dictionary. So Let's take this now and see how we can use this with Pydantic. So we'll go back to VS Code. And this is a very simple fast API app. So we're creating fast API here. We have one model called band model. So we use create, create Pydantic model. So Piccolo has great Pydantic support. This comes from the Piccolo API package. And this new argument got added called nested equals true. So what this will do is it'll create a Pydantic model and then for each related table, it'll then create a sub Pydantic model. So here's a very simple endpoint. So we're going to return a list of band models. So this is very similar to the query we just did inside the shell. So we select all the band columns, all the manager columns, we make it nested, and then we just do a list comprehension to return them all. So I'm just going to open this up now so you can see what the response looks like. Let's open this up. So it says not found because we only have a single endpoint which is slash bands. So you can see here that fast API has returned our nested structure. And we can also have a look at the fast API docs to see how this works. So if I go down to the bottom and we look at our schemas, it'll show that there's a band model and then it has a sub model called manager. And again, you can just try it here from the interactive docs if you like. You can execute it and see that we get the correct data back. So that's it for today. I just wanted to show that new feature. And a shout out to the community because all of the ideas for nested and the nested Pydantic support came from the community. So thank you very much. I'll catch you next time.